1995 Callaway. It was brought to us with a 383, naturally aspirated, 450 horsepower. And now we've made it truly a supernatural. We'll take a look at the motor in a second here. Looks just like a bone stock vet. Mark Delashman out of Texas. If you look real close, you can see a nice little air to air intercooler in there. Let's see what's under the hood of the baby. This is what's under the hood of this little sucker. It's now a 383 inch LT1 twin turbo. It's got an Oliver billet rod, Cali's crank, custom JE pistons, standalone electromotive unit controlling it. It'll make a thousand horse to the tire. Probably a bit more if we actually push it. One serious cram fest. That is truly 10 pounds of shit in a one pound bag. The amazing thing about this motor is it's just so drivable. And that's what I'd like to show you uh, how drivable it is. Matter of fact, just a coincidence, but there's the owner. Very happy. So, if you don't mind, Mark, I'd like you to drive it and maybe I could film you driving it and get your reaction on it. Taking a little cruise around the block. Our stop signs. I mean, the main thing I got at this video is, I mean, the thing makes sick go power, but it's not really what we're trying to point out. Point out that just how drivable this thing is. I mean, it really runs like it was originally stock, you know. Absolutely. But when you get in the loud pedal, it's just craziness, you know. You like the way it drives so uh, far it's like a stock corvette yeah with a small surprise to boot <laughs> like an extra 600 to 8 600 to 700 horsepower surprise on top of that. Feels good, huh? Steering feels great. Uh, it idles right like a, like a stock car to stop bike. It, it comes in smooth and hard. Look at that. Yeah, 
Yeah, ro go, 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 go straight here for a second here. Right, right at 1,000 RPMs. Smooth, no it's hop. Just, just dead smooth. Dead smooth. Except we're out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know it's low enough to where we got go around the block and that's about it, huh? It's in reserve on double yeah. bars. Go straight here. Yeah. Put it in second at about, about 40 miles an hour. And then just kind of roll into it at second, you know? Second, second, second. Just roll in, roll in nice. This, this train tracks, hold on, this train tracks. Second. Train tracks. Could have made it. Yeah. Just needed to drop it, keep <laughs> dropping it. Down. We can still make it. We're low enough. Yeah, yeah. But it it's amazing to put this much shit in an engine bay. We never had a tighter, tighter cram fest. And all the original stuff is in there. I mean even the uh should we even have the Cruise control's in, air conditioner's in, yeah. radio, every creature comes in, except for the train from the factory. Yeah. Is in, everything is in this car still. Yeah. Holy shit, it's a long train. <laughs> Got enough gas? Went up. <laughs> I, I don't, anything on the, this gauge that's below the quarter line, I don't trust. Yeah, on a factory car. My silver car will tell you that's 30 miles left and it'll die yeah. at five miles. So, so what were you saying, Mark, about the creature comforts? Every creature comfort's in here. Traction control, air conditioner, radio, selective ride, power seats. Every feature's here. It stalks, every stock feature functions still with a thousand plus horsepower. enough room if you put it in second you want to you know roll on to the to the end or whatever okay but just expect it to come up once you're in it you know yeah that's what, a road I'm not used to man. cold and tires racing engines awesome job guys absolute dream come true thank you all right let's 
listen to this thing, man. It sounds fucking stock. I mean, there isn't a hint of idle in this thing. Yep. 